So today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to load film onto a stainless steel reel, um, specifically a Hughes stainless steel reel. And this is for developing your own film in the dark room. Um, we would normally be doing this under an entirely dark space with no light at all. So you'll have to get familiar with your equipment and practice in the light, and I'll be showing this in the light, but normally this would be done in total darkness. The items that you're going to need before you uh, take film out of its cassette and put it onto a reel will be the light tight tank with its lid, the reel itself, a bottle opener, scissors, and your roll of film. And today I'm actually going to be just practicing with a roll of film that is um, not any good. So, okay. You'll take all of this into the total dark room and lay your items out onto a table. And you will familiarize yourself with the reel in your hand. The reel spirals from the center out and ends bluntly. I like to face that blunt end towards the hand that will be holding the film. And I place this down on the counter. Take the roll of film and find the flat top and the edge or tooth of your bottle opener. Place that against that edge and pry that little top off. And in the darkness, you'll feel this when it comes off. Place that off to the side. Push your film up through the cassette and remove it. It doesn't matter. Um, don't be afraid that you're going to hurt the film by touching it. It automatically, naturally rolls in the downward position with the emulsion side facing down. What we need to do the first is take about this much, which you can't see in total darkness, but just pull out the very end and you're going to cut this leader off with your scissors in total darkness without losing a digit. Once you've removed that leader, you have a blunt edge, you're going to be taking that edge of the film and extending and bowing the film by holding it on the edges with your uh, forefinger, with your index finger and your thumb. You can bend the edges so it just slightly bows it and makes it stiff. This stiff edge is going to go into the center of the reel and the edges of the, where, the sprocket, oops, where the sprocket holes are are going to be placed over these two prongs that are sticking up on this flat plate in the center core of the reel. I like to hold my reel with the two fingers down underneath this flat plate. Go ahead and place this in. Extend that a little bit further. Once it's placed inside the core of the reel, you can bend the film gently over those two prongs, which are sticking now through the sprocket holes, and start to rotate the reel gently away from the hand or in the opposite direction of the hand holding the film. Keep the film slightly bowed at the edges so that the film fits within the space of the reel. And this takes the film onto the spool. Sometimes I place this down on the countertop to keep the reel in a perpendic perpendicular placement while I roll it, loading the film. onto the reel. With a 36 exposure roll, this should go out almost to the very end. And with a 24 exposure roll, it will not go all the way to the very end. This is a 24 exposure roll of film. At the very end, you get to the spool itself and you want to cut that off or peel it off. If you cut slowly, you won't cut yourself.
and place your film reel into the light tight tank. Put the lid on top and remove yourself, your tank, your lid, all of your trash from your dark room out to the processing area.